I made the case for the GPD pocket. It's hard to find a case for it. Let me show you. So uh, this is 3D printed and it's printed with the TPU soft filament. It has some cushion in it and of course I want to protect my um, uh, GPD pocket but if you don't have a printer I, I can put uh, some link in the comment section and you can use their service to print one for yourself. A lot of the uh, cases on the market they are mostly for the tablet. Uh, it's not suitable for the GPD. Let's put this aside first. Oh, and this um, cute little mouse I bought online. I don't know if it uh, it's easy to find the link to ship abroad, but I will try. It's tiny and it's very really useful. Uh, when I go outside, I just bring it with me. Uh, sometimes I, you can also use the uh, stick, but um, this one is more handy. To start with, we're gonna need a few things. Uh, two USB stick and one SSD hard drive. This is not a normal USB stick. You can use a normal USB stick to back up the system image. This is about the same size as your laptop hard drive. And this is just ordinary 32. You can buy any, just any USB stick you can use for the Ubuntu install. And this one is for the uh, GPD recovery. Oh, so let's get started. Okay, before we get started, we have to uh, back up everything because in case anything bad happen, you can always go back and restore the system. But um, if you skip this part and you didn't listen to me, and don't come and cry in the in my comment section. So uh, I already go through the. Uh, uh, process and it takes a while so I'm not gonna do it again I will but I will show you what the options are and uh, you can do it there so go and type recovery and just click create a recovery disk and then after you plug in your USB state and just click yes and then create a recovery drive even if your PC can't start you can use a recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot problem if you back up system files to this drive you'll also be able to use it to install windows and then click uh, backup system files to the recovery drive next and it will take a while after you got the recovery uh, disk on your USB, put it aside and plug in the SSD drive and uh, go to type backup and then you can see here go to backup and restore Windows 7 and create a system image, click it and it takes a while, it's going to uh, search uh, SSD drive and uh, that's it. If you have ever installed Linux before, you can normally go to ubuntu.com or mint.com to download their disk image. With the GPD Pocket, you cannot do that. Please don't go to the ubuntu.com to download their disk image. It will not work for the GPD Pocket. So we have to use their community version and I will show you where it is and I will put the link in the description box. So this page is for the GPD Pocket Ubuntu Respin. Scroll down and uh, download an already uh, Respin uh, ISO. Click here for the download section and downloading existing ISOs. Click the mega link. Then you will see this cloud. Uh, just pressing folder data. And download the uh, latest one. Um, August 19. Click it. 
and now it's uh, initializing. It's gonna take about an hour until it finishes. So just wait and be patient. Okay, in the downloads now, I have the GPT pocket, this image. I have to burn it to the uh, USB stick. That means I need a special program. Uh, it's called uh, Etcher. Let's go get that. This is the Etcher website. And I know there are other programs out there you can use, but the actual, uh, I like actual, it's easy for me. I'm going to download uh, the Windows version, I'm going to go for it. Save file, now it's downloading. Now the actress setup is downloaded. Let's in go install it. Click I agree. Okay, now we are going to burn the uh, image on the USB stick. Select image and choose the GPD pocket select drive, let's plug in the uh, USB stick Con and then click continue and flash Flash complete. Let's go to install Ubuntu now. Okay, I'm going to shut it down completely and then I'm going to uh, start it up again. After you hit the power button, hit function and F7. Hit it a couple of times, sometimes you might miss it. <coughs> uh, yeah, now it's on the sideway, there's the, this uh, GPD thing. They use the tap leg uh, screen, but it doesn't matter, it won't affect anything. It will go uh, back uh, to normal later. Now just uh, select your USB stick and enter and then select install Ubuntu Now we are in and uh, give it a couple minutes to run. Right, English, continue. So after I type the pass password, I uh, will go connect it. Let's select both and then hit continue. This computer currently has Windows Build Manager on it. What would you like to do? Uh, yeah, install Ubuntu alongside Windows Build Manager and then hit continue.
continue. Where are you? Los Angeles. Continue. Continue. Who are you? The installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. We start now. Okay, now let's go to Ubuntu. Okay, let's check if the Wi-Fi is connected. Okay, now um, we are connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's try to uh, go to some websites. So that's it. We've successfully installed Ubuntu on the GPD Pocket. If you would like to get one, I'll put the link in the description box and also the STL file link for the case if you like the one I make. Until then, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Thanks a lot for watching.